Hens and Hounds night at Fifth Third Field as Salido opens its six-game series with Indianapolis. Nivaldo Rodriguez having a tough time on the mound to start. Top of the first base is loaded for Indy's Jack Sawinski. And the right-hander blasts a shot off the backside of Frickers. Sawinski's grand slam puts Indianapolis up 4-0 with no outs in the top of the first. Toledo starts climbing out of the hole in the second carry. Carpenter skies a fly ball to deep left center. His solo shot gets the home team on the board. Hens pull within two after a Brendan Davis double in the fourth. He switches spots with Spencer Torkelson as the Hens keep things interesting. In the fifth, the hero of Sunday does. Cameron cuts Indy's lead to one. Cameron skips his shot into the grass in short right. Derek Hill turns on the Jets and scores from second. Hens keep it close, but Indy's early lead was too much for Toledo. The visitors earned the 5-4 win, taking game one of the series. Matt Melzak and Jim Weber recap the Hens' loss from downtown Toledo. All right, thanks out here at Fifth Third Field. Uh, Jim, when you lose a game, sometimes... You could take some positives out of a loss, and certainly the Monahans could do that tonight. He gave up the grand slam in the first inning. A lot of times, it might be a night where you get bombed. But no, the Hens made a game of it, and, and they had opportunities to win it. Well, that's why I mentioned that way back in that first inning. Once you give up the four, if you can hold them there, which they did for the most part, you've got a chance, and the Mud Hens were in it right to the final out. They did add one run, which proved to be the difference, but yet it still turned into a very good game when it could have been, as you said, a blowout. Yeah, it certainly could have been. We thought early, oh my, this could be trouble. The grand slam, and maybe if that inning is different, if it's, you know, a double and you keep putting guys on base, maybe you don't get through the inning, it ends up getting uh, more out of hand. Sometimes a home run can kind of stymie a rally a little bit. But the fact that the Mud Hens were able to claw back and really hold Indianapolis just one run the rest of the way is the thing to be credited. Yeah, and the game ended with the tying run at first base, the winning run at the plate. That's all you can ask for. You're not going to get it every time, which the Mud Hens did not this time, but they had that shot. Yeah, and they've got a long series here ahead of them. Still five more games to go against Indianapolis. Yeah, a team now that has a 5-2 to two advantage this year, but we play them quite a bit uh, yet before the end of the season.